Hi Terry, it's Friday, October 12th. I'm Florence. And I'm Addison. And, and you're watching THS TV. I know we were just on the air yesterday, but we couldn't broadcast because of PSAT testing on Wednesday. I'm glad the weekend is here. Me too. Luis, tell us what to expect from the weather. Hi Terry, it is me Luis. What to expect from the weather? It looks like the cool weather is finally here. Highs will be in the 80s over the weekend, but then the cool weather grows well in on Monday. Look for lows in the 50s and the lows in the 60s. So get out your sweaters and a hot chocolate and welcome fall. This is Luis signing off. And go Houston Astros because they're heading to the American League. Many of us don't have a clue what to do after high school. There's a lot of choices. College, trade school, community college, or work. Calvin Sims graduated last year and we talked to him about a major decision he made about what to do after high school. My name is Calvin Sims. Uh, I'm a graduate of 2018. While I was here, I played football and I ran track. I didn't really know what branch I wanted to learn, learn about or what branch I wanted to go to. But then seeing my recruiter, seeing how he held himself and how good of a man he was, that kind of made me want to join. So I feel like the Marines are the best branch of the military and they're most professional. Um, there's all kinds of benefits financially, uh, stable pay, uh, becoming a better man in every way, and just becoming a better person, being able to have a trade that you can do the rest of your life. If I have a say in it, if I can stay healthy, and if I can just stay in it, I say at least 16 years. Uh, I like to start my own gym. You don't have to be like your friends. You don't have to be like everybody else. You can take another route, and you can do what's best for you in the long run. If you need some career guidance, see Ms. Lange in the college room. There are recruiters from different branches are often there, and you can talk to them. You can also get brochures and information about what to do after you graduate from Terry. Driving is something we either hate or love. We love it because we get to go places and there's that freedom having a car affords. But there are also things that make us angry behind the wheel. Here's, some, here's what some of us had to say. What gives you road rage? Old people driving really slow and they don't know how to get over. What gives you road rage? Uh, when people are at the stoplight and the light is green and they're still there, not moving. That's what gives me road rage. What gives you road rage? Uh, when people are slow down in front of me and I'm trying to go fast. Whenever like I'm on my bike and I'm trying to go straight and people are trying to turn, they almost hit me. I don't like it. What gives you road rage? I hate when people merge out putting their blinkers on. That gets me heated, like pull over, we can box. What gives you road rage? Okay, when they cut me off and I cut them off, then they cut me back off. That's what gives me road rage. When they cut me off the first time, I have to, I have to win. So, that's, yeah. It's competition. That's what it is. Team practices every day. They put in hours of conditioning just to compete. Flo caught up with the team. part-time job, Ms. Galleon has opportunities for you. Some employers in the Rosenberg area have contacted her that they're looking for some workers. See her in room 431 if you want to make some extra money. Is there anything to do this weekend? Yes, there is. At the movies, the movie First Man is opening. This is based on the true story of Neil Armstrong and America's Race to the Moon. It's rated PG-13 and stars Ryan Gosling. This should be pretty good, even if you do not know your history and how things turn out. Goosebumps 2 is also opening. Halloween is right around the corner, so expect to see lots of scary movies. This one is not only a horror movie, but it's also a comedy. If you read the books, you know what to expect in a Goosebumps movie. Early reviews are not kind, so don't expect too much. You won't be disappointed if you come here and see Cinderella Waltz. The theater art students have been preparing for this funny show for weeks. So tickets are five for adults and three for students and seniors. The t curtain goes up at seven both nights. If you're willing to drive to the Woodlands, the Houston Symphony is presenting Hocus Pocus at 7 tonight.
There's a Korean festival at Discovery Green from 10 to 7 on Saturday. Well, that's it for this week. Have a great weekend, and remember, raise your pride. pride.